Hello ninth graders, this is Miss Natalie, your English teacher. I hope you are doing well, safe and sound. In this tutorial, I will discuss the material included for week number six. So let's start with the first day. On the 8th of October, we are going to start with, uh, we are going to start tackling a poem called The Writer. Uh, in this lesson, we are going to cover the, the poet's biography, the background information, or the background story, and we are going to work in an activity um, that is based on photo analysis. So let's discuss um, the essential key concepts that are included, such as the poem, the writer, photo analysis connections, poet's biography, and the background story. Here you can see the Sadas ebook <coughs> link. You can click on it and go directly to the poem. You have um, tutorial number one discusses the biography of the poet Richard Wilbur, the poet uh, or the writer of the poem, the writer. Um, here in this interactive activity number one, we are going, you are going to delve into the background story and the biography of the writer, uh, step number one, before we start off with the content of the poem. Um, here you have tutorial number two. It explains uh, how, or it aids you to analyze um, specifically things that are visual artistic minds, I would say. Uh, as for activity number two, you, you are going to analyze the photo associated with the poem. Um, there are specific questions that you need to ask yourself while analyzing the photo. Um, and that's pretty it for this day. As for the second day of this week, we are going to start with part one of annotation. Uh, annotating the actual poem. Um, so you're going to s focus on symbolism and research as the first tutorial discusses the meaning of symbolism and characteristics. Um, tutorial number two explains how to analyze a poem in general. It will aid you while you are analyzing the first part of the poem. So in this, in this interactive activity, uh, you need to work on the following steps uh, for annotation. You need to figure out the form of the poem, the tone, you need to highlight essential key terms and connect it to the concept of survival. Uh, you need to underline poetic devices um, and explain their usage in the poem. Uh, you can either add it in a physical book or on Savas. It depends on you. You are going to follow this analysis strategy to help you while analyzing. Just click on the image to directly um, download for you the form. Um, now, on the third day of this week, we are going to continue with the R annotation. As you can see, I distributed the annotations or the analysis into three parts. The first part, you're going to be working on the first three stanzas. Uh, on this, in this lesson, you are going to work on stanzas from five to eight. We're gonna go in chronological order. You also have leading questions that will aid you while you are annotating. Now, on the fourth day of this week, uh, which is the last day of for annotating the poem, the writer, you're going to work on annotating um, the last, um, I would say, three, three stanzas. Um, of course, you're not going to analyze it and then that's it. We are going to discuss your analysis, uh, brainstorm, uh, according, of course, to the poetic devices in connection to the key concepts or the theme of the unit. We need to sort this connection together. And then we're going to wrap up um, the, unit, the, the whole um, poem. And that's it for this week. Thank you so much for listening and have a nice day.